Hey, what's up? Coming up on today's episode, we're going to show you how to use the iPad as a wireless MIDI controller. No complicated scripts or steps here. Keep it locked on this episode of Pixel.info. Sponsored by YouNoob.net. Music on Pixel.info is brought to you by Ekin. All right, so unlike the iPhone, the iPad is definitely a superior device when it comes to using it as a practical MIDI control. So today we're going to show you how to use it with Logic, and you can use these same steps to use it with other programs like Pro Tools and Reason. So let's find out. Let's check it out. Yo, what's up everybody? Ekin here in the Pixel Studios. I'm in my laboratory here and I want to show you how to use the iPad as a practical MIDI device. So I got it set up here with Logic and I'm just going to play a couple tunes here. All right, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get right to it, and I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, so once you have TouchOSC on the iPad and Oscillator on the desktop, all you need to do now is make sure that they're both connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So on the iPad, we're just gonna go to Settings, General, Network, and Wi-Fi. All right. On the desktop, on the Mac, we're just gonna go to System Preferences and Network. All right. They're on the same Wi-Fi network. I got my Ekin iPad template here. You can download it from our website. And if you open up Oscillator now, it should show up automatically in the network panel. Here we go. There it is. All right. If you go to Layout, there's the available layouts. If you want to add one, you can sync it up with your host. All right, now I'm going to show you how to assign Logic controllers to TouchOSC. All right, so all you really need to do when you start with a blank sheet in Oscillator, all you really need to do is just tap on the uh, on the pads and sliders, and they'll automatically show up in the Oscillator window. So from there, all you have to do is decide what type of event you want. In this case, I want a MIDI note. And I can change the value to C3 or whatever note you want to play. Actually, I'll do C1. And, and that's C1. 
All right, now I'm going to show you a more practical method. Here I'm going to show you how to attach it to the, uh, the morph pad in the XY pad. So all you really need to do is go down here to morph X and Y and change it to whatever MIDI CC you want to use. In this case, I have 22 and 23. So you go over to Oscillator, and you make sure that, uh, that your X and Y is set to 22 and 23. So once that's set up, you just test it and see that it's actually working. All right, and there you have it. That's a practical method here. And it's real easy, as, as you saw. In a couple seconds, you can sync it up and it just automatically picks it up. All right, and there you have it. That's how you can simply connect your iPad to Logic Studio and a bunch of other programs too, using the same methods. No Python scripts or any of that. Very simple, very easy. All right, now let's do some drums. All right, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the iPad as an awesome wireless MIDI controller. Definitely let us know what you think about the episode by hitting us up on the Facebook, Twitter, the blog. You can even email us. I'm Ekin with Pixel.info. We'll see you guys next time. Hey, what's up, everybody? Ekin here, and we're going to show you how easy it is to make your iPhone and iPad into a wire. Can you see me? No. All right, so first. All right, and there you have it. And that's logic. We know. Let me do it again. It's uh, it's saying. All right, now I'm going to show you how to uh, how to sign how to sign. Yo, did you see my iPhone, dude? I threw it. Fuck, dude. I think I lost my iPhone. I threw it. I don't know where where I threw it. Sponsored by YouNoob.net. Music on Pixel.info is brought to you by Ekin.